since why do girls own Valentine's Day? I oh, want, that they get the presents and the chocolate and the yeah, and not just that. Oh, let's have Valentine's Day now. Even the the boys' part in it, which is shower me with with Valentine's gifts, are taken away because the girl. A lot of these girls are saying, "Let's have Valentine's Day." I want a Palentine's Day. Okay, for me and the pals. <laughs> okay. Hello and welcome back to the Croak and Crow podcast. I am Spencer Cartier. I am the cat in the hat. The cat in the hat. And this here is Frank in the hat as well. Pink hat looking good. We're all here today on this beautiful Friday and we are celebrating life. Yes. Isn't that the case? Still watching the Olympics. Still watching the Olympics. Sean White. Sean White. Said his goodbye. Failed. Which, okay. He didn't fail. <laughs> I felt felt yeah he fell and then he failed everyone's falling in Beijing it's uh, the snow is icy they say Aww. but um I swore the last winter Olympics was his last Olympics I, I can't believe he doesn't have bright orange hair he has orange no, hair it's like it's like it's like all Bernie Brown no it's right it's as red as it gets really yeah I think it used to be redder you're just thinking because it was longer. He had the long, flowy hair, uh-huh. and so anytime you shorten something, okay, you, it gets it looks a little darker. But um, yeah, I thought the last Olympics was his Olympics. He was back, got fourth place, but fourth place in the Olympics for a forty-year-old man. I don't know how old he is. I you doubt know, he's. He's 40. dating a famous girl. You might know her. What's her name? I can't remember. Alina or something. Maybe but, I do. You know, when he was born, he uh, had two open heart surgeries. Really? Yeah, and um, he I think has given. You know, when you ask for uh, what's this called when little kids get to have a wish? Make a wish. Make a wish. He's granted. So, like, you know, people want it to, I don't know, see him or ski with him, whatever he does. <laughs> Snowboard. And like, I think like 15 or more. Oh, um, really? Yeah, for little kids. Oh, good for him. Mm-hmm. What a good guy. He seems Quality nice. Upstand. He does seem nice. He, he has a TikTok. Nice. Oh, yeah. Yeah. He also yeah. has a new snowboard that he just came out with. It's oh. called White Space. Did he invent some of the moves? Did he invent some I of the moves? I know he's like a real OG. He's an OG. I don't know if invents the right word, but like, is he the first to pull it off? Or popularize. Because, <clears throat> you know, like even Tony Hawk like did like the 1080 spins. Like he didn't invent it, but he was like the first to do it. Yeah, yeah. And is that the same as inventing? No, mm-hmm. it's not. Because people in the industry, they know... Oh, nobody can do that many spins on one yeah, go. Yeah. And then he's like, I bet I can. Right. Before they thought it was impossible. You know, they thought it was impossible to have a sub two hour marathon. Sub two hour mean longer than? Sub means less than. Oh, I didn't know what that meant. A uh, sub two hour, you know, like submarine is under okay. the water. Okay. A sub is under. Okay. So they always thought it was impossible. They said the human human body cannot go under two hours. That doesn't even make sense for I, a marathon. Under two hours, less than two hours, under the two hour mark. So you could be running for five minutes. Five minutes is under two hours. Oh, I see what you're saying. <laughs> <laughs> what is wrong with you today? <laughs> Okay, I get it now. A marathon is a particular... 26 miles. Okay. You will never do that in five minutes. I thought you were saying... I thought a marathon was just like, nobody could run for less than two hours. And I'm like, why not? Oh, marathon equals 26 miles. Nobody can run 26 miles in less less than two hours. I'm now understanding. And then then there were a man did it and it was a huge feat. Okay. And it was like, did he invent... He had huge feet. (laughs) It's Friday, guys. I apologize. And then what happens? It was a big deal. Everyone was like, before we thought it was impossible and you did it. <clears throat> so did he invent the running under two Who hours? Who is this person? Um, He was a African man. Oh, so it was like in modern times. It was recent. Mm. Yeah. Um, And so he didn't invent, you know what I mean? So I think it's the same thing, same thing with Sean White mm-hmm. where he did moves that people thought were not possible to do. And he's been injured, right? I don't know. I don't know all about Sean White. <laughs> We're talking a lot for someone. Like, I'm just making <laughs> you things up, up at this point. You brought him up. All right. What else is it? Is it holidays today? Uh, a holiday. Uh, I don't know so much of a holiday, but it's, it's well, you know what it is a holiday? It's the um, anniversary of the foundation of Vatican City. Oh, well, how long ago was that? 
I don't know, but it's February um, 21st. Sorry, February, what's today? February 11th. <laughs> it's February 11th. I don't know how long ago. Okay, don't even worry about it. Okay, I won't. Is there any other things you need to add? Sure. The other thing is World Sick Day. World Sick Day? I lost it. So we all get to call in sick? Uh, World Day of the Sick. World, world Day of the Sick. It's to um, see Christ in um, in your brothers and sisters who are sick. Therefore, would you want to help Christ? Yes. So therefore, you'd want to help um, the sick. The sick and the yeah. needy. And, and I, I got this Padre Pio. We talked about him before. Um, the Padre Pio Foundation of America. I think there's more than one. This is the one from Connecticut. They're, they're really very generous in their um, gifts that they sent. They sent me this book that has the relic um, right attached to it. And um, I finally figured out what relics are. You know, I knew relics meant like this was the cloak. Yeah. You know, and I thought like, how can they keep giving it away? How is it not disappearing? <laughs> and it's, but it says right on here, this cloth has been touched to a first class relic of Padre Pio. Oh, so that's how they do it. But um, it's a pretty long prayer. I guess I could just put it in the description. But Which prayers? I'll read it. All Why right. not? Yeah, after all, right. all of your nonsense, I think <laughs> the, the first thing that everyone needs to hear is a prayer. <laughs> yes. Which one? Uh, the, prayer yeah. of a time of personal illness? Yes. Just one page? Yeah. Oh, loving Jesus, you responded to the needs of the sick with a generous and compassionate heart. Be with me when I am ill and stand by my side when I'm faced with infirmity. Help me to experience your great healing power in my mind, body, and soul. If I am burdened with suffering, suffering, back when I had a speech therapy classes, one of the things I always was taught, I, I said in, and I say ing. 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 <laughs> Lead me to unite myself to your cross so that my pain and sorrow can bring spiritual benefit to me as well as to others. May bearing the cross of illness here on earth help me to be better prepared for your the eternal joy of perfect happiness and fullness of life with God forever in heaven. Amen. I'm so glad you read it. It wasn't that long. We're about to read a Dr. Seuss book, which is much longer. It might not be. It's a small book today. Um, That is a thank you, Padre Pio thank Foundation. Thank you, Padre Pio Foundation. That, that sent um this book because it has a whole bunch of prayers in it. Uh, Some you know, like the Hail Mary and Active Contrition, but other ones you don't. And um, some sometimes I'm okay with pray- praying off the cuff. I can do it. Some people can't. Oh, I'm sure. Okay, you, show off. No, you can, right? What do you mean, pray off the cuff? Like when just you pray, pray with words? Yeah, with words. Like, yeah, yeah. Some people can't. Literally, some people, like a lot of people can't. Can they not? Or is it like when you go up to someone and say, "Name a woman." Um. Name a woman. Oh, I didn't know we were doing this right Name now. Name a woman. Okay. Um, Hillary Clinton. Okay. But you know, you like when you ever see like the uh, they go up on the street and yeah. they say that, and the person's like, ah. Uh, uh, no, but I mean, even to themselves, you know, I told you the story of um, before of uh, a Jewish friend who was not practicing. There was an earthquake. There was an earthquake and she felt compelled to pray, but she couldn't. Her, her mind was blank of prayers. And she, she just she wanted some <clears throat> memorized ones that she could. <clears throat> well, can't you, just be all, can't you just have a conversation with God? You can, but some people are feel more comfortable to say pre-made ones like our father who are in heaven hell yeah. be the name um if you feel more comfortable books like this come in handy because yes. they have teeny tiny little pre-written book pre-lit pre-written prayers yes they are awesome so yeah today is the world health world sickness day <laughs> health and sickness in world. sickness and in health and uh yeah it's, it's important to care for those who are sick and to see christ in them because just as christ suffered yes and we loved him People suffer every day and we can use that suffering as a metaphor and be there for that. We, you know, we, we weren't there physically when Jesus was on earth, but we are physically with people yeah. that are in need of our prayers and our love today. Still have the opportunity. Still have the opportunity. But anyway, guys, today is Friday. Might explain some of the antics that have it's been going on. It's your birthday anniversary. Oh, is it the 11th? Yes. Oh, man. You know what's coming up before we even get to what's Friday is valentine's day it's gonna be on monday no so we're not going to be able to um saint valentine we're not going to talk about it Mm-mm. oh okay we can talk about it. i'm saying we're not going to have it we podcast. won't be here yeah because we have our shows on fr- a wednesday thursday and friday if you didn't already know um so it's valentine's day you are not a fan of valentine's day. i like valentine's day oh who told you that you did when 
uh, I feel like I've, I've heard it all growing up. I don't think that's true. Okay. Um, I may be wrong because I have no memory of my life. This is what I am <laughs> thinking. And it's not a wrong thought because okay. a lot of people think it. They think they don't like the idea of a made up holiday because it takes away the sincerity of what the holiday is about. That's not me. About. And you're thinking of Mother's Day. Um, <laughs> that's not me. All holidays are made up. So when no, people say. But they're about something. Like Christmas is about, you know, the birth of Christ and we do things for it. Yeah. You know, Easter's. I'm doing all religious ones. Halloween is. Uh, Fourth of July. Yeah. Fourth of July is about, you know, the Emancipation Proclamation. <laughs> I don't know. It's the declaration, signing of the declaration of independence. Yeah. I but, call it um fourth. I call it July 4th because I'm American. Okay. Um, I like Valentine's Day. I could be wrong because I'm being serious. I don't remember what I said last week, but um, last week. <laughs> yeah. Like I change all the time. Oh, okay. I'm very, I'm, I'm a, I'm a Pisces. You change every day. Uh, uh, Today you were, uh, what was your name? I was Cat in the Hat. Cat in the Hat. I change all the time, but recently I was asked, someone someone had to do a job interview, uh, and the person said to them in the job interview, what holiday, if it, like what holiday is you? Not what holiday do you like or, you know, is one of these questions, these Google type, yeah. you know, work at Apple questions. And it was, um, if you were if you were a holiday or, you know, you have to be a holiday, what's your holiday, right? And I said Valentine's Day. And you're correct. A lot of people that knew me were like, yeah, no. And I said, yeah. I like Valentine's Day. I don't like to go out to dinner with my betrothed in a restaurant with other people. And you know what I'm saying? Like here, have your filet mignon and your your champagne flute. <laughs> but I like the old fashioned, like the cupids and the doily yeah. hearts and the red velvet. And the I just like the aesthetic, the white, the red, the, the, the. Okay. I like the old fashioned, like Victorian. Yeah. Valentine's Day. I don't know. It's just so cute, and it's like a bright spot in the winter. I like Valentine's Day. Hey, okay, that's awesome. Um, I like it. Not really. I liked it when I was a kid, when like you would give everyone a Valentine. Yeah. But then I got to a certain age where I just stopped getting having Valentines. We had a Valentine's Christmas tree one year, if you remember. It's just because we didn't take our Christmas tree down, so we kept decorating it for the holidays. We did. I believe it was also St. Patty's Day. It was. But, tree in March. Um, We had Valentine's party. I have a cousin who was born on Valentine's Day, and they named her Val. Well, that's awesome. Valentine's Day is about love, right? And that's what we talk about in the podcast every day, yes. so it's a great holiday. It is. Go out and... and, 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 and it's a it's a day that it's based around love, and so what better of a holiday can you get? Yeah. And it doesn't have to, doesn't have to stop with your significant other, you know? Right. It's Valentine's Day is a day of love. You can love everyone. That's why I love it. Unless you're Germans, in which you don't say you love everyone because they're very particular. Yeah, with the word. We talked about that, and yeah. people need to go back, watch all our podcasts. Every single one. Find it. and If you're um, watching this and you haven't watched every single other one of our podcasts, then what are you doing? Right. But yeah, um, now, now that you're starting to see Valentine's Day all the time. Yeah. My question, my other little disdain, since why do girls own Valentine's Day? I oh, that want... they get the presents and the chocolate and the... Yeah. And not just that. Oh, let's have Valentine's Day. Now, even the, the boys' part in it, which is shower me with, with Valentine's gifts, are taken away because the girl. a lot of these girls are saying, let's have Valentine's Day. I want a Palentine's Day. Okay. <laughs> for me and the pals. Okay. And we'll go... Valentine's Day is for the boys. Yeah, Valentine's Day for the boys. And we'll, I don't know. No, I like go it. To, go to Wingstop and, and they'll give us, you know, you should. Little, little candies with our wings. It's time, you know. It's time. The time it's is now. It's time because, you know, before they might have been nervous about the masculinity of it. But yeah. I mean, we're over that. We're so. over that. Palentine's Day. Where the boys at? Yeah. Yeah. So that's what I want. A red velvet cake. Manly, though. With your hands. Ah. Red velvet. Cupcakes. Men, men, uh. men can use forks because imagine it's a sharp... Um, object coming at metal object coming at your face. Uh, force. <laughs> yeah, no plastic. Have you seen on um, the, the, the TikTok trend where they throw the apple up and they fork it? Yeah. You think it's real? Yeah. We should try it. We'll try it on Wednesday. They do it all in high schools. But so many people can't do it. Like they'll show you all the shots that. Oh, the fails. Yeah, the fails with the bounce away and. Well, yeah. So you have forks, and then so you th you throw it to me. I catch with a fork, and then I throw the whole thing, fork and all. 
to the next person who has a fork. And oh, I've never seen that. What have you seen? You, just the person takes the apple, throws it up, and catches it with the fork. That one per their own. Just I'm standing there in front of the camera, and I throw the apple up, and I and I catch it with the fork. Well, the reason why I know it's true is because what I'm talking about is like you're in like a lunch. Imagine a high school lunch. Plastic room. forks. I don't know. Okay. Maybe, maybe, maybe not. Maybe it's a college lunchroom where they have metal. Okay. Uh, cafeteria, <laughs> and so you, you, I, I start, and I just have the apple. I throw it up. You have a fork in your hand. You catch it. And then everyone at the table knows about it. So they're all holding forks. So you throw your fork and apple and other person catches it. So by the end of it, there's all these forks. Yeah, I, I'm surprised apple. by this. Yeah, it's a real thing. <laughs> but anyway, guys, we're running out of time. It's Friday. A fun, fun Friday. A Friday that once had many names, but now it has one name which is Dr. Seuss Friday. And what we do on Dr. Seuss Friday is we read a Dr. Seuss book. You know Dr. Seuss. You're the cat in the hat. Yeah, I'm the cat in the hat. He called him, he, he added the doctor because his dad wanted him to go to medical school. <laughs> what a savage. Um, <laughs> and so what we do, as you know, you might be saying, oh, but I haven't seen another Dr. Seuss podcast. Why are you reading a kid's book? Well, we are reading a kid's book because kids are, know how to do things kids know how to be taught that's a better thing mm -hmm. and so you you get these simple concepts in these simple silly books that when read as an adult can be used for things that are much greater right you know uh, jesus loved children and he said he loved their innocence yes and their ability to perceive you know uh let the, he who have ears hear all children have ears right you know, and, and all children have eyes. And so at a certain point, we, we tend to stop ourselves from learning and, and, and seeing the things the way we saw them as kids. And so today's day about bringing that, those simple concepts and turning them into something bigger. And we're open to learning from all different venues. Yes. We'll, we'll, take, we'll take inspiration from anywhere. Yeah. How about that? This is a short one. Nice little one. And um, if you'll see on it, some of the books, when you look up for, for Dr. Seuss, it'll, it through the, um, it'll say bulletproof class by Dr. Seuss, but then it'll say writing as Theo Lasig. And for a while, I wasn't picking those ones up because I thought, well, I don't know who Theo Lasig is. Here, Dr. Seuss's real name, I believe, is Theodore, but it's Theodore um, Geisel. Okay. And that's backwards. Ah, uh, Geisel backwards. Yeah, and so it's just another another pen name. It is Dr. Seuss. Oh, so he wrote books as Theo Lassie. Yeah, sometimes. But it was, oh, okay. Yeah, it's just So a little, is it like, is it kind of... A little trick. Is it like a different style? I don't know. Uh, I don't know. I guess we'll find out. <laughs> Let us know if this sounds Dr. Seussy to you. So today we're reading The Many Mice of Mr. Bryce. He kind of looks like Charlie Chaplin a little bit. Now that I think about it, I think I saw something that said he's Theo Legeis when someone else illustrated it. Oh. It, if it's a Dr. Seuss book, it means he wrote and illustrated it. If he, I think. Does well, it, illustrated by Ray McKee. There you go. Look so, at that. So, and you notice that the, 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 the Charlie Chaplin character looked a little different. Uh, I guess I'll just take my vitamins while you're reading. In my house, says Mr. Bryce. Or I could dance. Like, like a, oh, like, interpretive? Like a, yeah, like a TikTok In dance. In my house. I have many mice. Yeah. I was thinking more like a TikTok dance. Okay. In my house, says Mr. Bryce, I have Maybe many, not. many mice. They all live on different floors. They all, they have their names upon their doors. There's so many words here, but yeah, it's all no, just saying so. what everyone's doing. I can't dance if you don't read it in a, in a, like a rapping kind of way. Wait, am I supposed to read this? No. Okay. It's too much. Jeremy is the tallest mouse. By me is real small. And Quackenbush's whiskers are the longest of them all. I thought you were going to read it like tougher. Well, you're not dancing. Yeah, like like you would be like, Jeremy, Quackenbush. No? Tommy plays the trombone. Donna loves to dance. Richard is the richest with a penny in his pants. <laughs> 
Harriet is hard to find. She hides in silly places. Yipper loves to sit around, just making foolish faces. Peter plays piano. Sally loves to sing. And Mary Rose ties pretty bows in little bits of string. Charlie plays the rubber band. He isn't very good. Eddie loves his soda pop. He drinks more than he should. Eddie. We gotta watch out for Eddie. He's like Frank. (laughs) Gertie is the reading mouse. She can read words right. Walda rides the clock and calls the time all day and night. And Freddy, good old Freddy, is Bryce Mice Far- in, is the Bryce Mice Farmer house. He waters the tree that grows all the food for the mice in the Bryce Mice house. My mice are nice, says Mr. Bryce, and you should know them better. Come visit them, or if you can't, you might send them a letter. I think that should have been read with more energy. I don't know. Like, you know, like, 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 bop, 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 Yeah, did you ever see that video of the uh, woman who's rapping? Like, she's in, a, she's a classroom teacher. Yeah. And she raps. No. The Dr. She- it's so good. Dr. Seuss? Yeah. Really? Uh, I'm pretty sure it's Dr. Seuss. And then, like, there's, like, kids in the background. That's what I'm saying. You, you could have put something, you could have put sound under it. I'll but put that right here. Next time. Waiting for a train to go, or a bus to come, or a plane to go, or the mail to come, or the rain to go, or the phone to ring, or the snow to snow. Waiting for a fish to bite, or waiting for wind to fly a kite, or waiting around for Friday night, or waiting for half of their own to take. Hot to boil, or bed, or bake, or string with curls, or a pair of pants, or wig with curls, or another chance. Everyone is just. No, I meant for you to do it. Yeah, why well, would you showing them the video of the woman rapping? We could do better. I feel when like you, she knew the book so well because like, like, she, she didn't have to. True. Like, well, per, yeah, she does it every class. Yeah. I'm not loving the illustrations on that. Just no. From, just from peeking at it. It's it's like, you know what? Something about this book is probably the illustrations. Normally when we read Dr. Seuss, after we read it, I'm like, yeah, that's why we read Dr. Seuss. Yeah. You thought it was just a kid's book. Yeah. There's more to it. This, I just felt like I was reading a let's learn how to read book. Well, then you got to try harder. With what? You picked the book from, from Theo Lissi. That's what I'm saying. I, chal- I challenged you. I don't know. To me, it's talking about... God what, what is we, Mr. Bryce. What we talk about, we've been talking about now, so, 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 ver- maybe it needs to be, maybe we're, we're in, divinely inspired, it needs to be said, it is all the mice in the house are all different. Yeah. Once again, all, all the... Um, Branches of the tree, all the toppings of the pizza, yeah. all the mice in the house. They seem like they're the same. All the branches seem like they're the same, but they're not. But they are connected through the, the trunk. All the mice are connected. Look how different these mice are. Yes. But they're all connected. Um, their common denominator is that they all live in the same house. So what is the same house? We all believe in God. Well, so that's what I'm going to go as far as to say with with the with the many mice of Mr. Bryce. I think in this story we could compare Mr. Bryce to God, right? Okay. Like, so if you look at the very last page, it's, or in the very first page, it's uh, in my house is Mr. Bryce. I have many many mice, and then it goes on to talk about all of their differences and stuff, right? Yeah, which There's, you said you didn't even read the alphabet part. You yeah, know? he's so tall, he's so small, he's rich. He plays the trombone, he dances. Talents and they're all very strengths. they're all very different. Right. Yeah. Even though some of them, he drinks more than he should. He drinks more than yeah, he should. The soda pop is making, making young Eddie go crazy. <laughs> and then at the end, you have Mr. Bryce showing his house again. My mice are nice as Mr. Bryce, and you should know them better. Come visit them, or if you can't, you might send them a letter. And so I think, what's nice about the mice of Mr. Bryce <laughs> is that if you you know you you look at it as as God, right? And I like when you scale down analogies because you know it's obviously so hard to you can't scale down God, but when you look at the Earth like that house, and what we always say because like when we argue about what well, religion's right, what well, religion's wrong, right? We are arguing about something that's that's like so much. We're so small to be like. Look at it from Mr. Bryce's perspective. Every mouse in the house <laughs> that's wearing a blouse, every mouse in the house is his his mouse. Like they're all his mice and they're all different and stuff. And so 
there you have your little differences inside the house, you know, on earth. Mm-hmm. But it's like at the end of the day, you're all mice of Mr. Bryce. You're right. We forget that. We forget that. We we forget that we're all mice. We we are all mice that live in the house of Mr. Bryce. We're yeah. all we are all humans that are in the house of God. Right. And, and when you're in the house, you know, you that's when you see all the differences. Like, and look at the and that's the other thing, right? We give ourselves such comparisons. Yeah, I can't play the I can't look, play the violin or whatever. Jimmy that was. is the tallest mouse. B- Bimmy is real small. But he doesn't say Timmy's better. No, I'm gonna go further than that. Uh, Jimmy is five inches, and Bimmy's one inch. From compared to M- Mr. Bryce, what do you like? Imagine if if Bimmy was getting attacked. Like, oh, you you'll never be one of the real mice. Uh, right. You don't belong with us. Look how small you are. And then you know, to Mr. Bryce, it, it's you're all mice. The tallest guy is small. The tallest guy is, is small, and. Any arguments that are, are small to him. It's like any right. differences are, are obviously they are celebrating their differences, but there's a difference of being proud. You know, there's like a lot of proud things like, oh, I love to dance. I love to do this. But right. it doesn't show a dark side. Right. But if it did, it would be able to bring back that metaphor of like how silly for some of the mice to think that they're in more favor right. to something so high when... That's Mr. Bryce's house, and he cares for all of the mice. Yeah, and, and I'm he glad he wants I'm, all of them to do good. I'm glad that it was a mouse that was used as the animal in the story because mice are rodents. They're they're you know they're disgusting. You, they're, yeah, you scream when you disgusting. see you scream when you see them. You run away and you you know, um, and it's not like all the birds in the tree. Yeah, each one can sing a different song. Yeah. It's like you know taking something that you could factually be like ooh gross or you know yuck or and finding finding fun and, and um joy in it. Yeah. And he says they're all nice. Like I said, he didn't say there there was a um a favorite. My mice are nice, says Mr. Bryce, and you should know them better. Come visit them or if you can't, you might send them a letter. Right. So it is um get to know people better. Yeah. Don't don't just go by don't go by uh, you know, this kind of if you see somebody you made it a, a Look at the mice; they all look exactly the same. Yeah, but they're so exact; they're so incredibly different. So you can't judge a a book by its cover. You can't judge a mouse by its fur. Yeah, for sure. No, I, I like it, and yeah, I think it's a nice little analogy. So look at that; we did it again. We can do it. We we can do it. <laughs> so everyone should go out and get this book and carry it with them wherever no, you go. If, if anybody out there has a valid, a current Bar- a Barnes and Noble membership, give me your phone number. So I can get the discount. <laughs> Why don't you just get one? Because I don't have to pay for it. So you want our loyal subscribers? Yeah, people to- should get together because, like, if 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 you, someone already has it, they're not going to lose anything by someone else using the phone number. Next, we're going to. I'm start- always for the for the. I'm always for the scam. We're going to start asking for Netflix passwords. Do you have any Netflix passwords? No, because Netflix passwords you can only have so many users on the account. Uh. Barnes and Noble. It, it's just a phone number. It's, it's just, just a store card. Listen, sometimes I keep my ears open for the person ahead of me if they. <laughs> If they're going to say their phone number and I'm like, 215 did it. Because I'm like, I'll just say it because there's nothing that can happen. I'll be so nervous. <laughs> it's only 10%. It's not even a big discount. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, guys, that is it for Dr. Seuss Friday. Another good one. You know, I really didn't know if we'd be able to do this one. And we did it just fine. You have to have faith. So big weekend. Go out. Have fun. By the time we see you, you'll already have had your Valentine's Day. So I hope that goes well. Um, I hope, yeah. you know, your, 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 your secret admirer drops flowers off of your house and your wife doesn't bother you. Spencer, what year is this? I say celebrate on the 15th. You get all the deals. That's true. Again, with my, with my, uh, bargains. That's true. People, more people <laughs> should do that. I like, know. What's the big, what, what, like, and you know what? Not more, more than deals. You can have an amazing Valentine's Day Tuesday because yeah. it's a Monday. So this year, so it's not even like the oh, weekend. but it's Saturday. Yeah. It's a Monday. If you do Tuesday, the restaurants will be empty. Yeah, you know what I mean. Restaurants will be empty. Flowers are on sale. Candies on sale. You can have a. You can give your 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 person twice the amount, half the price, mm. and half of the weight of the line. Right, and you could also. It's a good way of testing out your um. Your, your partner because if they are like i want it on the 14th like okay maybe 
Maybe you're not very flexible. Yeah, maybe you care more about the um, what we were saying, why we didn't like it. Maybe you care more about the idea of Valentine's and Day and to brag about it, and, and stuff. not what Valentine's Day is really right. about. Right. You know, because you technically you can do it with a lot. You can do it with Christmas. Yeah. Because Jesus wasn't actually born on the twenty fifth. Right. And it's like, well, no, I do it the twenty fifth. It's like, well, what do you care about more? <laughs> the celebration <laughs> or the holiday? Mm, whatever. Well, all right, guys, that is it. We will be back on Wednesday. Until then, go out and be a good mouse. Appreciate your differences, but understand that all of the mice, we all live with Mr. Bryce. Peace. I was going to say pice, but it doesn't sound enough like peace. <laughs> it does. Pice. Yeah. It does. All right, let me try it again. Let me try it again. Okay, okay. Hey, we're all just little mice living in the house of Mr. Bryce. Pice. <laughs> Smooth. Oh, oh, oh.